What's up guys, today I'll be doing a review of this Top Boxer Gladiator style head guard, so stay tuned. Uber of the styles like miles and shit, like 60s funky worms with waves and perms, just sending junkie business right All right, guys, so let's do this close up of this top boxer gladiator Mexican style head guard. We'll wait out and then we'll do the full review. Got mine in this dark forest green color. It's a full, genuine leather head guard made by Top Boxer. Oh, I'm sure you guys already know, makes high quality equipment. It does come with the cheek protectors. These are not raised up like some of the other Japanese style head guards, but it does a pretty decent job of protecting your nose. The very bottom right here, the chin strap, is my favorite feature. It uses the quick clip. Typically head guards either come with a quick clip, um, the metal belt buckle, which can be a little inconvenient when you're trying to find um, the hole when you're putting the, uh, the buckle through to fit it properly. And then you typically have the Velcro style, which are nice and convenient, but over time the Velcro can tend to wear out. Then the side, you do have about a one inch piece of foam over the ears for this, uh, this ear donut that goes over with this little crossbar right here to protect your ears. It does have a dual lace-up closure system. So you do have the metal, or should I say the leather loops up top, which the laces go through, which helps with the vertical adjustment of your head. And then the back head adjustment area here with the laces, which helps with the width of your head. And you have about, i say a half inch of padding on the back of the head. And then the tapered out neck, so you have flexibility with rotating your head. The inside liner is almost like a cotton microfiber liner. It kind of reminds me of a soft microfiber terry, terry cloth towel type of texture. Try to get it real close for you guys there. But it's really nice in terms of comfort and for um, preventing the headgear from moving around on your head. 
Not so much for retaining moisture, so if you really get sweaty like I do, um, definitely make sure you air this head guard out because it definitely soaks up the sweat and takes a little bit longer because of the leather and the material that they use here to wick away the moisture. So let's go ahead and put this on the scale, see how much this head guard weighs. And typically, um, I guess a good comparison or benchmark would be the winning FG2900, which weighs about 10 ounces. But it's also synthetic uh, leather, so it's not genuine leather to keep that in mind. So this is right about 12.7 ounces, which is not very heavy at all, about three ounces over the winning FG2900. But once you have this on your head, it's pretty much negligible. I don't think you would really notice a huge difference in terms of weight. So let's do the review. What's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'll be doing a review of this Top Boxer Gladiator Mexican style head guard. Got mine in this dark forest green color. You can also get it in burgundy, black or white. Um, if you're not a fan of any of those colors, they do offer a lot of custom colors. So I'm sure whatever color you want, you can reach out to Top Boxer and get that made. Um, sizing wise, you can get this anywhere between medium and large. Medium is gonna be anywhere between 19 to a 21 inch diameter size heads. If you are a large like my, my head here, I got a big head. Um, you're anywhere between 21 and 23 inches in diameter. Again, if you have a size, your head size is smaller than that or larger, reach out to Top Boxer. I'm pretty, pretty sure you can accommodate you sizing wise. So as you can see here, it comes in this full genuine leather casing, very be beautiful, constructed, high quality. The leather is really nice and thick, has smooth, shiny finish to it. You can see it does have that Top Boxer patch that is embroidered and stitched into the forehead. One thing I would have liked to have seen is that the edges on this were somehow rolled or smoothed out so you don't have an edge there. Uh, granted, when you're sparring, your sparring partner should have headgear on as well. So if you do have any clash foreheads, you won't have to worry about cutting them. But for some reason, if you, your partner doesn't have head guard on, that's, that's on them really. But this can definitely um, scrape or, or cut somebody open because of the edge right there. So something you would have liked to have seen um, within, you know, as far as this being embroidered into the forehead. Um, the actual padding on the face of the head guard is about, I'd say, an inch a dense padding. Um, you can see how dense it is all along when I'm pushing down on my fingers. It has a really dense feel to it. Even around along to the temples and to the forehead, it's pretty dense. The inside padding that lines up against your face is a little bit softer, so it has a little bit more give and is a little bit more form fitting. The stitching on this head here looks really good. You can see the stitching is done really nicely. You have double stitching throughout the piping on the top edge of the of the head looks really good all full leather there nothing synthetic and then the air donuts look really good as well the same kind of padding they use on the for, uh, on the front face is really dense about an inch of padding that goes around the ears and then you have this little softer padded crossbar that goes across the ear to give you a little bit more uh, protection against your for your eardrum right there um, you do have this quick clip that's stitched on you can see it has that X stitching that's stitched down right here to this little bottom tab. And then the back of the head, you do have this angle right here, this angle for your angle cut out for your neck and the dual lace up closure system. So the top is gonna be for your vertical adjustment right there with the five leather loops that keep the laces together. And then they have the back laces, which is gonna be for the, the width of your head, which helps adjust that. Now the good thing about these lace ups, which I like more, a little bit more than Velcro, is it feels a little bit more form fitting and then you can adjust it to the size you want one time and once, once it's adjusted to the size of your head, you're good to go. And then you have about uh, three quarter inches of padding, maybe half inch of padding right here on the back of the head that goes along all the way down to underneath the ear. So you can see it has about medium density there. It's not as stiff as the, the uh, padding they use on the ear or the front. And then again, you also have the female end of the quick clip that is covered. Uh, with this leather tab over here that way it doesn't cause any damage on your partner and it's covered up so the inside liner again uses a very soft cotton like almost like a terry cloth towel type material it's very soft to the touch uh, really nice for comfort as well as not allowing the actual headgear to move around in your head but again like i mentioned earlier it does soak up sweat pretty good so make sure you air out this headgear when you use it so let's go ahead and put this on and see how it looks on my head dimensions wise again this is a size large on me so the first thing i noticed when i started using this headgear is that there's a little bit of a break-in period and by that i mean that the foam on this feels a little stiff at first 
So when you start wearing this, you start sweating in it, you start moving your head around. Um, over a period of time, it might feel stiff, but once this headgear breaks in, it feels great. Um, you just kind of have to go through a period of break-in. I noticed that right here along my temple, it's a little stiff at first, and right here behind the back of my ear, I felt a little bit of stiffness from the padding being a little bit dense. And the reason I say that is this padding they use around the ear holes and in the front of the face is pretty, is pretty dense, even with the liner on the inside being a little bit softer. You can feel how dense it is. So if you feel a little bit of initial discomfort, don't get discouraged by that. Um, it will break in and this definitely will feel better. Now you can see that I already have this quick clip adjusted. The beauty of this is that when you, once you have it adjusted, you just do that and you're good to go. You don't have to really fiddle with, with anything else. It's already adjusted in there. You have these leather straps that kind of cover that up, the buckle. And the location of it, it's right underneath the chin. It's not too far back against your, your neck or your Adam's apple where it causes you any discomfort or you feel like you're choking. So, you know, regardless of how I move my head or I rotate my head, I don't feel like this chin strap causes any discomfort on my, on my throat whatsoever. And it's right underneath my chin where it should be, hence the name chin strap, right? Now the visibility of this head guard is right along there with um, some of the other cheek protector head guards like the 2900, um, the Tidal, or even the, uh, the Ring Decay's Japanese style. Um, I have really good side to side peripheral vision when I look left and right. I can see pretty good. I can definitely see the cheek protectors right here um, as far as my peripherals go, but it's definitely not as bad as a face saver where you have this big bar in front and you're almost, you almost can't really see when an uppercut is coming. Um, you can see that the cheek protectors actually rest right up against the side of my nostrils. It doesn't in inhibit anything with my breathing. You see it kind of just touches up against it right there. And you can see it kind of cuts in and does a really good job of actually protecting my cheeks um, as far as getting hit and, and having any bruises or any kind of uh, marks right there. Or if I clash with somebody during sparring, I won't have any cuts or anything on my cheeks right there. So, but visibility is, is pretty good. Now the side profile right here, if you do take a straight shot to the nose, you will feel it. Um, the cheek protectors can only do so much. It can only brace so much as far as the actual impact of the punch. But if you do get punched straight on, you do, definitely will get contact to your nose. So again, if you, if you need something to where you don't get any contact to your nose, then you're probably better off getting a face saver because with this, you definitely still will get contact in the nose there. The cheek protectors are more or less there pr to protect your cheeks, not so much your nose in this aspect. Even the head guards that do have a raised cheek protector, you're still viable to get hit in the nose uh, because it's just not 100% guaranteed that the punch won't go through if you know what I'm saying. So you can see there, sizing wise is right on point. My ears fit right in the donut holes right here. It's not off in terms of, uh, of sizing. So unless you have a really oddly shaped head or your ears are su super far back or too far forward, um, this head guard should fit you pretty good. And then just kind of rotate around. You can see the actual back right here, the cutout. It's nice, you can rotate your head. You have good range of motion with this head guard. On the left side here, you can see that the donuts as well look good. Nice and symmetrical. My ears fit in there properly and feel good as well. Lace-up closure is really nice, again, for the adjustability to give you the width you need on the back. So whether or not you need it tighter or looser, just depending on the fit you want, you can have that. And then, of course, rotating to the front, you have the top closure which helps with the actual vertical adjustment of the head to really tighten it down. So if you wanted to drop down a little bit lower or sync up a little bit higher, um, then you have that adjustability with this top closure. So overall, really comfortable Hager once you get it broken in. Again, one time, when I first put this on, I felt some initial stiffness, especially against my temples and right behind the neck, uh, right, right behind the lower part of the ear. But after taking some shots on the head, this you know, the headgear would definitely uh, break in. Um, and again, once you're done using this, when you take this off, um, this will absorb a lot of sweat. So make sure that you dry this out because uh, if you just stuff this in your gym bag, it'll get pretty funky and it might still be more, you know, might still be damp the next time you use it. If you spar the next day or whatever, it might be damp still. So keep that in mind. Now cost guys is the best part about this headgear. Um, you're not going to find a headgear in my opinion of this quality that offers this kind of uh, visibility and protection for $85 with free shipping. So. Uh, Top Boxer offers free shipping to most major countries. Here in the United States, it's free shipping for 85 bucks. Um, you're not going to find, almost guarantee, you're not going to find a head guard better than this one for the value. So, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll make sure to put the link in the description box where you can find this Top Boxer Gladiator head guard. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.